little dog here and something really great now that you're involved in steam it you're earning a cryptocurrency called steam maybe you've converted it to steam power you're earning steam power you're earning SBD steam bag dollars so it's good also to keep track of what you have I'm sure you're interested in seeing what the price is in real time <clears throat> so here's a site that I use a lot probably you're very familiar with it coinmarketcap.com so just to look at the few coins that I do hold I have some Bitcoin and then I have to scroll down here and search for steam that I can see the price 435 I'm very happy about that price but when it comes time to look here at BitShares I scroll down to number 37 I also I'm a big uh, believer in BitShares I'm still looking forward to some very good things happening with the different projects keeping in mind that between BitShares and Steam on some days we're doing two-thirds of the traffic between all the cryptocurrencies that exist so all the blockchains so that's very phenomenal but if I have to look now for SBD which most of us also have I have to type it in here because I have no idea where it is the coin the cap is not very high and so it's way down there somewhere but here I can click here and I can see the price so here's a site I wanted to show you that I've been using for a while now someone had recommended it to me and that is hodler folio and so you see what it says here uh, that it's a single HTML file can run from your desktop you track your portfolio no one tracks you so basically you can put in your parameters you don't have to sign up you don't have to send an email you don't have to uh, communicate at all with the people at this site and practically the data that you put in stays in cash as long as you don't clear your cash what you have what you're holding will stay there so I've already gone ahead and typed in Bitcoin let me just take that away let me start off with steam for example so I want to add steam to the portfolio I press the plus sign now I put in the amount so let's say you've got uh, 565.58 steam okay so we can add that and there you see it will give you the real-time value the real-time price and what's happened in the last 24 hours which is really cool so now I want to go ahead and add another currency so in my case I also do hold some Bitcoin so let me go ahead and click Bitcoin I'll add it now I just need to come down here put in my amount so let's say that I have uh, 0 0.7696 and I press this huddle button <clears throat> it's giving me the price the actual amount in my portfolio which is really cool the total amount of my portfolio now I want to go ahead and add now SBDs okay so let me do that SBD and there we see them steam dollars I'll press add and let's just assume that you've been holding on to some of those so you've got uh, say 47.23 and I press that again and you see what's happening here there are my SPDs it's giving me the price what's happened in the last 24 hours the change the change in my total portfolio my total value and I want to go ahead and add one more which is uh, sorry uh, go ahead and add one more which I'm also a big supporter of and that's bit shares so let me just go ahead of course this is another one of Dan Larimer's projects another graphene based blockchain uh, his first creation actually uh, it can do amazing amount of transactions and uh, you can check that out for yourself if you go to the site Blocktivity and I forget what it is as the uh, ending of Blocktivity but I'll put it in the notes and that there you can see the number of transactions and the stress on the network it's a really cool site that you should look at often so here let's put in the bit shares and let's just say that there are 10,000 10,000 bit shares. Is that 10,000? That's 1,000. Is that right? 10,000 bit shares. So there we go. 10,000 bit shares. It's telling me the total price, what's happened uh, per bit share, and there's the value of my portfolio. So that's really cool. It'll stay like that if you leave it on your desktop, even if you close it and open it again. Uh, let me just check and see if that works. 
So I've got that closed. I'll put in hodlerfolio.com. Oops, that's not, that's not good. Got to get rid of all this stuff here. Okay, let's try it again. Hodlerfolio.com. I enter, and there's my portfolio. You see, it's in the cache. So <clears throat> that's what I use. And rather than have to go to Coin Market Cap or some other site and scroll through and look at the price, you can quickly see what your portfolio is doing at any given time, the total value of it, the change in the last 24 hours, what each currency individually is doing. So I hope that's helpful to you. It sure is helpful to me. Uh, this is a journey that many of us are taking together. Some are just starting. Some have been on it for years, like me, two years on Steam almost, on the Steemit platform. And I've learned a lot. I hope you're still learning. I hope you're having fun. I hope that you're benefiting not only from this video, but from many other things, uh, other sites, and following many other great steamers on this platform. So that's it. It's the old dog signing out, and we'll talk to you again very soon.